Well, hello there, everybody. Dre here, and welcome back to the weird Canadian life simulator that is Mon Bazoo. Today is an exciting one. It's been a long time since we last played this, but there is a new vehicle for us to explore. And I've been playing this game for three hours now before I even recorded because I forgot that friendship is so damn important in this game. Get the frick on there. There we go. The, uh, the, the trailer boss has been defeated. But yes, I uh, had to work on my friendship with this little jerk. It's one of the street racers. It was at two. <laughs> you know, I, I, I don't really play these games strategically. I really hate the whole friendship mechanic. So I only do it if I absolutely have to. Who the hell's Raymond and why is he only at one? <laughs> so yes, because of my laziness in my past, I never talked to the street racers. And uh, well, I had to go every night to get one point. It took me a long time to realize that I could give maple syrup to get two points a night. So that's cool. But yes, it's been like 20 days of me going to the street race just to get friendship with Antony. And it says at 35, he's supposed to have a new vehicle for me. So I'm super excited for that. I'm judging the fact that the vehicle is probably destroyed in this game because every other vehicle has been. So I have my uh, trailer here to pick that thing up. And tonight we should get the friendship that we need to finally unlock the newest installment into Mon Bazoo. Gotta be honest, I don't really think I need another car in this game. I have so many of them now, but uh, I'm kind of like Jay Leno in this game now. So if I have a choice to get one, I'm going to go grab it. And this one is said to be a hot ha hatchback. So super excited for that because we don't have any of those yet. So I'm going to play some video games until nighttime because the street races only come out at 11 or 10, I think. So we have to wait until then to get my friendship up. So uh, back to gaming we go. All right, and here's the big guy. Can you please be my friend now? I quite like you. Maybe we can have the courage to continue my project. I'll give it to you if you want. Check the blue garage at my mobile home. Road that goes to the boat ramp. God, I haven't used the boat ramp in forever. I mean, obviously, it's by the lake. Uh, <laughs> that's very vague. Uh, so, yeah, we do have a boat ramp. The J Vux, uh, which is right down the street. So I'm assuming that's that's hopefully the one. All right, this feels new. Did it say blue? I'm pretty sure it did. Why? It's so dark out. Okay, there's a button here. This is a good sign. This is a good sign. I'm down by the dock. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, God. Okay. I thought at least it would have wheels. Uh, yeah. I mean, it looks nice. It looks fantastic but there's nothing to it. This was his fixer-upper? What did you do to it besides gut it? Well, now I kind of have a predicament. First of all, we have a lot of the parts here. We even have the engine, which is nice. So I could just simply uh, put on the wheels and take this thing home so I can use my power tools, but I could also just bring hand tools here and probably get this thing close to started. Uh, the one thing I don't have is a seat. All right, well, at least we found the car. It is in the middle of nowhere. And what is going on? What did I do? Oh, damn it. This always happens when this with this freaking trailer. Come, sh just go there. Thank you. So yeah, I think instead of bringing that uh, car home, we may as well just work on it here. We can always buy the parts that we need right across the street anyways. So yeah, we'll bring some tools over there tomorrow and get working on it. Ooh, do we have... I believe this was the engine I have. We have a new engine. The Koenig Prinz engine, Prinz Performance. So this is the Koenig performance. This is the Prince. I don't think I have that back at the other place. I think I have the basic red engine or even... I think I might have one of these ones. Uh, so yeah, why not just get the really expensive engine right away? Because I'm rich in this game. All right, we have actually quite a bit of Prince stuff here. We got the manifold for the turbo. All the good stuff over here. Transmission. These are all things I'm going to need. Uh, we do need seats, that's right. So, these are OEM seats. Can I get racing buckets, maybe? All right, yeah, I'm not seeing any other seats here, so we're gonna have to ex accept these. These are paintable, though. Ooh, it goes down, that's cool. Um, so we can paint these a different color. I don't know what color I'm gonna go for in this thing, but I'm just buying as much as I can. I'm gonna put in the front lot here, since it's just across the road. All right, the only tires we have is the sport ones. This is what I wanted. And yeah, you know what? I don't mind these rims, so I'll, we'll just keep these rims. And I believe I can use this, right? Yeah, this is free to use. There we go. Where do I buy the pump? Must be at the gas station. I don't... Actually, I wonder if I can just use this. Oh, I can probably. Nice. I don't know how much PSI I'm supposed to put in here, but 30 seems safe. So we'll keep it at about 30 for right now. That should at least get us home. Well, maybe I should have brought my truck. Uh, yeah. 
Hard to uh, transfer items when you're in a small car. I think I got the engine in there, right? Yep. We should have enough room for the wheels. I would like to get the front seat in here. Oh, just shot out the engine. That's okay. Just throw it in the back. Everything's fine. Get in and close it quick. All right. The first lot is here. And I'm going to put the wheels on right away. Yeah, I don't hate these rims. They're not, like, great, but they're not bad either. Oh, I guess I'm not putting the wheels on because I don't have any rotors or anything. God damn it. All right. Well, we'll just slowly bring things here until we can put everything together. All right. Engine was able to go in, though. Rather small engine considering it's a performance. So we'll see how fast this thing goes. But yeah, that's a very small engine. We have one brake light. Thanks for the one brake light. <laughs> Seriously, why is there one? And yes, as I assumed, the other engine is... Wait. Yeah, this is just the Prince OEM one. So I don't know what we'll do with this, but we can probably sell it for scrap at least. All right, I forgot we also need doors, the back hatch. Like, we need a lot. I may as well just walk back and forth. With how little I can hold in this car, I'm going to need some big items. So I'll just walk. All right, so we need shocks. Uh, definitely don't want the rally. We'll do the adjustable coilovers. Just throw everything out here. I want to buy everything before it hopefully closes. I know we have sway bars installed, so do we want hard or race? I feel like you probably want hard, right? If you're making a drift car, or is it soft? I don't know much about drifting. Should I just go for race? No, I, I think I'm going to go for hard, because I feel like you need hard suspension for drifting. And... I mean, my goal is to make a drifting car, but I'm not very good at drifting, so I don't know why I'm doing this. But to be fair, I have a rally car already. I have a street racing car. May as well make a drifting car. Oh, damn it. There's the bucket seats I was looking for. I guess I'm buying one of these as well. We still need the back seat, but uh, yeah, I would much rather a bucket seat. All right, I think I got the majority of the parts here. So uh, now for the fun part. We should slowly see this thing piece together pretty quickly here. Let's do the body panels first. Do I got to bolt these on? I forget. Or is this just good now? Oh, good thing I saw that. I don't remember having to do this. I got the bolt on everything. Definitely going to need to buy some more bolts then. Speaking of that, we should probably bolt in the engine. That's probably the most important part. So we'll do that. And yeah, I'm going to have to get some more basic bolts. Okay, so A-arms are installed. Next up, we may as well do the front A-arms. Okay, there we go. Fronts are installed. I think I... Probably missed two bolts in the back because I only connected one to those. All right, so there we go. Dude, the, the, the mechanics in this game are still so good. It's not so in-depth where to the point where I get overwhelmed, but it still really is fun to build in this game. All right, I think next up we'll install the brakes, get the wheels on here as quickly as possible. That way I at least have the option to drag this thing back to my shop if I want to, but I probably won't at this point unless I run into issues. So we'll put the rotors on. Pads and then wheels. That's all I need, right? I am not a mechanic for the record. <laughs> all right, I'm clearly missing something because my brake discs are not going on. I wonder, I probably need the shocks first, right? Where the hell did I put my shocks? Ah, there they are. All right, and 20 bolts later, we have the shocks fully. I mean, they they're, they say they're installed, but they're not connected, which is kind of concerning. But I believe that's how it usually worked in this game. And once you install the tires, everything is good again. So before that, we kind of need brakes. Please now. Yes, thank you very much. Now that I see the rims on the car, not a huge fan of them, so we'll likely be changing them sooner or later, but I already have them pumped up and everything, so we may as well just keep them on for the time being. All right, well, would you look at that? Perfect timing. It's time to go home and sleep, and unfortunately, we still need two more bolts to finish up the wheels because I had to uh, bolt down my interior as well. That took uh, six bolts, so... It's the quest of bolts right now. So yeah, I could obviously slap on the rest of this real quick, but I want to do one thing at a time so I remember to bolt them in. So we'll come back tomorrow. I just realized I'm missing all my fenders too. <laughs> How did I not see that? So I need to get my fenders. Uh, I still need to get a hood, don't I? Oh, wait, I do have a hood, don't I? No, I, I have the back. So I, I need fenders and hood tomorrow and, well, a crap load of bolts. And I don't know if there's anything else. All right, but homeward bound, we'll go get some maple syrup in us and uh, go pet our dog. Oh, I also just saw that we get a new collectible to add to my other collectibles here. This is the coolest part of this game, in my opinion. It's just so nice having a random item every holiday just to remember all the memories, you know? Okay, that is it for the suspension. It's starting to slowly look like a car. I guess we'll deal with the body panels next. We got a, quite a few of those, as you can see. So, we'll slowly just bolt these bad boys on. Oh my god, 
<laughs> Body panels take so many bolts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. This is all my bolts just doing this. All right, now we just got to figure out where exactly everything bolts in. All right, so there's one. There is two. I think we are ready, man. I'm feeling pretty good about this. Obviously, we need an actual exhaust or this thing's going to be very, very loud. Uh, don't worry, I have one of those already. There we go. All right, I'm just going to double check that I screwed in everything now. I think we're pretty much done. What am I missing? I don't have these things installed, the sway bar and everything, but I couldn't install them. So my assumption is watch it work now. Yeah, but I'm wondering if I can't install them because of the suspension I used or something. I, I honestly have no idea. But the sway bars are not installing. Oh. <laughs> Should probably screw in my wheel. It fell right off the moment I get inside. So yeah, that's how you know if things are bolted in or not. I remember now. Um, yeah, the moment you get inside, everything falls off that isn't. So looks like the majority of it's stuck together. And I wanted to get a new wheel on this anyways. We got a, a see-through wheel here. How cool is that? All right, and we'll put... Uh, oh, God, I got to definitely change this bolt. I'm going to be staring at it. It's going to be brown. I guess it will match the uh, wheel for right now. Oh, <gasps> I can't believe that. Oh, baby. First try. I seriously thought for sure I'd break something. We are good. We are... We are great. Let's take this thing for its maiden rip, as a Canadian would say. Dude, I love this see-through steering wheel. I don't know why. Oh, I forgot to put my gauges on. That's fine. That's fine. Those are things we do not need. I can't believe this. Look at this thing. Oh, dude. It sounds so beastly. Whoa, easy. Okay, sorry. Jeez. Oh, dude. You know what? I mean, it's definitely not faster than my other car, but... Yeah, this thing's got some speed. Oh, God. I'm bouncing off of everything. Okay, before I destroy this thing, let's go home. Tomorrow, we got to add a few things. Obviously, I want to paint this so it actually looks decent. Oh, I just realized my fuel's almost empty. So what I'm actually going to do is leave the car here. Uh, only because I want both my cars to come home. So I'm going to bring my trailer and trailer this back so I don't have one car always in town. That's always annoying. And yeah, this thing's basically out of fuel anyway. So I'm probably going to run out on the way home. All right. I want to do, uh, obviously paint this thing. I'm going to paint it yellow, but we have enough bright yellow. We're going to go for this nice lightish yellow. Um, hopefully I don't regret that. Does it say the, no, it doesn't say what my letters are for that color of paint. That's kind of annoying. Oh, it actually does. Nice. So I know exactly how to get the same shade of paint if I don't have enough with just these. So yeah, we'll definitely do yellow, just not this ugly yellow that I sarcastically did. And now every one of my cars is way too sar sarcastic. Okay, now let's see if we can get this damn trailer to work. I think I have like a 50% track record of this thing not breaking everything. All right, so nice and slow. Screw off, buddy. Screw off. Oh, this is smooth. Did he update this or what? All right, put the parking brake on. That didn't work, did it? All right, I have to leave the parking brake on. For whatever reason, I, I undo it. All right, so now attach. First, close the ramp before attaching the car. Shut up. What are you doing? Go away. And I fell off. I fell off. What are you doing behind me? Oh, I'm so mad. I just want all my cars to be... Dude, can you... What are you doing? I'm going to lose my freaking mind. What is he doing? Go. Go. Oh my god, I got it. I got it. I got it. Oh my god, it took like 15 tries. I hate this. Is the worst invention in this freaking game. Is this stupid dolly truck. Sorry, trailer. But, uh, I got it done. I got it done. Okay. I finally did it. I, I used the stupid trailer. Oh my god. Bring this thing home. Okay, you're home, little baby. Welcome. Now it's time to prettify you because, uh, well, you're kind of ugly right now. I have to be honest. So we'll take this into the old shop. And start making this thing yellow. I hope I have enough paint. Really hope this yellow is good. But worst case, I mean, obviously, I can just repaint it. Paint's cheap in this game, thankfully. And I dig it. All right, paint the top roof. Get rid of that blue. And welcome to the club, little yellow guy. There's still a lot we need to do. And I don't think I have enough paint to do it. Uh, because I do want to, like, paint the engine, obviously. Right, so we'll pop that hood because it says blue accents. It, it would have been nice to keep it blue, honestly. But let's keep this going. Can I really not paint the inside? There's got to be a way to paint that. There we go. It's in the back. Okay. Now that's going to look at least a little bit better. I just realized. Look at the bolts. <laughs> look at 
<laughs> They're so colorful. Oh my god, this is so bad. Okay, and I made a bit of a mistake. I got the wrong yellow somehow. I just want to see, does this... I just want to paint the ring. All right, you know what? I don't mind if this is a different yellow. We can always change it later. And that should be very, very similar. This is why I wanted these rims. This will look so much better in my opinion. Okay, and you can actually change the color of the calipers as well. So obviously we're going to make these things yellow. And oh, finally, finally, I am so excited. Look at how good this is going to look. I, I can't believe it. Just some wheels truly changed the look of this thing. I added some tint as well. Uh, yeah, it's looking so much better now. Might have been a bit faster if I took this thing home to begin with. We just got to pump these things up when we're done because uh, they are flat right now. <laughs> even <laughs> I just noticed my damn wheel bolts are even different colors as well. God damn it, man. I should have at least did yellow bolts there, but oh well. Or black ones would have looked nice as well. Okay, they're pumped up. I think we're ready to take this thing to the track to test it out. Oh yeah, the one thing I do need to add, I just have a bunch of gauges that I would like to add to make it feel more race-like. I don't really care where these things go. I hope they don't need to be bolted in. If they need to be bolted in, screw it. Just adding some clusters. And I believe this thing goes to the far left. Yep, right there. All right, and remember to do the brake light as well. Look at how good this thing looks. If I get a spoiler on here or something, it looks so good. I actually do like this wheel as well. All right, let's take it to the track. What the frick? Why does my brake... All right, I don't know. I, I, I bolted in one bolt. I guess that's not enough to keep the brake light on. All right, well, one thing I can tell you is this thing's a lot faster than I expected. This uh, aftermarket engine is fantastic. Let's test her out at the actual raceway, though. I want to go around the uh, fast side. This is the more technical side. Just want to see what kind of speeds we can get up to. I mean, gear two, we hit 100 kilometers an hour. And unfortunately, as you can see, this track is not that big. Did they add that to this track? No, that was always there. That was the drag strip. That's right. What I do like about this thing is I love how I said I was going to make a drifter, but this thing sticks. So I don't know if it's really a drifter yet. It's got a bit of understeer, but that's okay. I'd rather understeer more than oversteer. Uh, it feels like it's very controllable. I haven't obviously tuned it at all, uh, but we do have the tunable suspension and whatnot. And I think we will be doing that in the near future because the lead developer has said that his next update is going to be a week-long racing league. So I'm super excited for that. I'm hoping the hatchback can go into that. That's why I wanted to build this thing. I don't know when it's going to be coming out. It's probably not anytime soon. But yeah, I thought we would just build the new hatchback today. Always nice to get a new vehicle in this game, and I'm super happy with how this thing came out. With a bit of tuning, I think this thing would be absolutely fantastic. All right, but yeah, I'm super happy with this thing. I hope you guys enjoyed this massive build in this episode. And yeah, let me know what you guys think. Do you want to see some more? I don't know how much more there is in this new update. But yeah, as I said, when that new update does come out, uh, we'll definitely be doing some racing in this game. As always, thanks for watching and liking, guys. And I'll see you in the next one. Hey there, before you go, I just wanted to let you know about my second channel, Gast. If you're missing Why? my multiplayer shenanigans, then please I, consider I checking it out. Just... Scan the QR code or copy the link down below. Okay, bye. Get the frick out of here. You have to win. Hit him. Don't let him get the shovel or the tennis racket, dude. Oh my god. <laughs>